uh, in this study, we looked at uh, the uh, vitamin D levels measured at the time of uh, patients who just diagnosed with breast cancer. And we, uh, we try to understand how uh, the vitamin D levels are related with um, breast cancer survival outcomes. We had a previous study that was published back in 2017, I think, where we showed in a smaller patient uh, population, the lower vitamin D levels at time of breast cancer diagnosis were associated with a poor uh, patient survival. So now with this larger study, uh, almost more than 4,000 patients, and after a median follow-up time of almost 10 years, and we uh, replicated our previous findings uh, that the um, lower vitamin D levels at cancer diagnosis were indeed associated with poor uh, patient survival. Yeah, we measured uh, a blood bell marker called 25 hydroxyvitamin D, which uh, is an uh, indicator of the uh, sufficiency of vitamin D levels in our, in our body. And uh, we did this in over 4,000 patients uh, for breast cancer patients uh, who are enrolled into a study called the Pathways Study. This is a uh, study established at the Kyler Permanente uh, Northern California, um, led by Dr. Larry Cushy and Dr. Christy Ambersoni uh, here at Rado Park. Um, and uh, we did a number of uh, statistical analysis uh, trying to understand how vitamin D levels measured at this time were associated with patient survival outcomes we looked at several uh, patient outcomes, including overall survival, breast cancer specific survival. Um, and uh, we also tried to control for uh, a number of factors that may affect vitamin D levels. We call those confounding uh, factors. And because vitamin D level can be impacted by a number of factors such as the body mass index, which measures uh, the obesity, um, and um, uh, it can be uh, impacted by the season of uh, blood collection because in summer at times, uh, under sun exposure, vitamin D levels tend to be higher. So we tried to control all those factors. And uh, after we have done those careful statistical analysis, we found the association between uh, lower vitamin D levels and the patient and poor patient outcomes remain. Um, we also further uh, stratified the analysis to look at several patient subgroups. And we found that the association uh, was stronger in patients with more advanced stage disease. So that means uh, the patient um, was diagnosed at stage three or four, uh, and those patients tend to, the association turns out to be even stronger in the subgroup patients. And one particular interesting thing um, we did look at in this study is how um, it is related with uh, um, racial disparities in breast cancer survival because in the US, um, African-American uh, patients tend to have poorer survival after breast cancer diagnosis than uh, white women. And also because uh, the higher skin pigmentation in African-American um, women they tend to have lower vitamin D levels because we know vitamin D is synthesized under sun exposure by our skin. So we saw those two may be uh, related and we did look at this and uh, it turned out, yes, uh, vitamin D, lower vitamin D levels in uh, African-American patients explain some of the poor survival we have seen uh, in comparison to uh, white women. Yeah, I think it'd be helpful to put our findings in the context of the literature uh, because our study is an observational study. So um, although we have uh, this outstanding pathway study, uh, the prospective cohorts where we enrolled patients at the time at the time of diagnosis, and we follow up the patients for a medium of 10 years, so we know their outcomes prospectively. This helps us to uh, control for some biases in those observational studies, but then this is still not a clinical trial where we can experimentally test um, whether given patients uh, with vitamin supplementation can help to uh, um, improve their outcomes after cancer diagnosis. There are uh, several recent trials uh, with vitamin D supplementation uh, on 
patient outcomes, on cancer patient outcomes. So those uh, analysis were not done as a primary analysis, like it's not the primary endpoint of the uh, clinical trials, trials, but secondary outcomes. But they did show very interesting and promising results that vitamin D supplementation improve cancer uh, outcomes after diagnosis. And now our study from a large observational study showed the consistent results. There are also a number of meta-analysis uh, in the literature where uh, they, it's, it's basically a literature review, like they put a number of studies, mostly from clinical trials together, and they synthesize the evidence based on those uh, separate studies. And their conclusion is also that by the day supplementation, especially daily supplementation, uh, uh, is uh, beneficial for patient outcomes after, uh, after cancer diagnosis. So put our study in the context of the uh, literature, I think we, um, we have come up with um, pretty strong evidence to support the use of vitamin D supplementation after uh, breast cancer diagnosis, especially for those uh, patients with higher stage of can cancer at a, a diagnosis and also uh, African-American women who are known to have lower, lower vitamin D levels.